Timeline slide is a very important slide in your presentation. You can show company's performance and the goals that has undertaken back then. And also you can make forecast on how you're going to accomplish the most important aspects of your set goals. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you six years or five years animated timeline slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the first year, which is 2015. And then it will show you 2016 with the detailed text along with the icon. Then it will continue for 2017, 18, 2019 and the current year 2020. So it is very important slide for your presentation to show the progress or the growth of your company in a timeline manner. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the background to gradient fill. Then go to view, enable the guides. Go to insert shapes under rectangles, select rectangle and draw the rectangle from one end to the another end and shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill, make it a dark gray. And later on we can give other gradient fill to it then go to insert shapes under basic shapes select parallelogram draw the parallelogram something like this and you can drag it inside by selecting or clicking the this orange point something like this So you can make it, if you want to make it more, you can just make something like this. I can reduce the size a little bit and shape outline, make it no outline. Let me just move this somewhat up. And then I'm going to press control D to duplicate and Go to format, change some colors to some more darker colors and go to rotate and you can simply say flip vertical and exactly place on top of the blue one and zoom in and then just say send to back and I'm just going to reduce the size of this when you reduce the size the size may increase or decrease so you have to just again adjust it again using this i'm just adjusting now so you can see here select this press ctrl d go to format change some different color and you can bring to front and rotate it again flip horizontal and put this one exactly on top of blue or this black and then again select this press ctrl d you have to do it if you want to do it five years six years depending on the requirement and then just send this to back i'm going to select this again press ctrl d put it here then again i'll select this Control D, send this to back. And lastly, if you want, I'll make one more. Control D, and then I will select this, the last one, and put it here. And this send to back. So you can see our basic design is ready now. Now I'm going to add the arrowhead here. Go to insert shapes, select the triangle, draw the triangle and move it somewhat this side. And shape outline, make it no outline. And again using this press control D 
and I'm going to cut the below part. So I'm just going to change the color to some other color. And I'll put exactly on top of this. reduce the size I'm going to select this and then this go to format merge shapes say subtract so you can see here it has cut something like this kind of arrow and the arrow is going up there now we can add more colors to it now let me add some gradient fill to this pipe select this right mouse click go to format shape and say gradient fill so here there are two stops only the first stop i'm going to make it somewhat a darker color and type i'm going to select linear and i'll select this one and then second stop i'm just going to add some lighter color and the third step i'm going to add more darker color here so you can see here it looks like a pipe now a 3d pipe and then I'm going to change the color of each. If you want, you can add it a gradient or you can use a normal color to it. So let me just start with this. This color, let it be that one. Then I'm going to select uh, maybe this color. Then I'm going to select another color. Let it be green. And this one, I'm going to select maybe uh, this color and this also. I'm going to select the same color and these two color objects I'm going to group it Control G to group it and you have to make sure that this is not aligned properly you have to just spend some time to align it properly like this you can see here again this is there so you can just you need to align it one by one so once this is done you can add the ears on this arrow for that go to insert text box and type say 2016 i'll change the font to century gothic make it bold and i will change the text direction to this And just bend a little bit here center align and put it on top of this so I'll just make it more bigger size and color I'll make it white so this is 2016 if you want you can give some shadow effect also press ctrl D add it here ctrl D Again, control D. And last one more control D and put it here. So this is 2016. This is 17, 18, 19 and 20. So like this, you can add the text and then I'm going to add more detailed text to this. Now I'm going to add uh, some more objects to add the icon and the detailed text. For that, go to insert shapes and select under basic shapes, select this one, which is the teardrop. Just drag it by holding the shift key and increase the size a little bit and then rotate it or something like this shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to insert one more object which is the oval shape just draw the oval shape small oval shape shape outline make it no outline and exactly put it here and change the color and you can give some shadow effect to this and if you want you can add the icon to add the icon just go to shapes icon
you need to have a valid uh, or active internet connection for this. It's taking some time, so let me just uh, uh, go ahead without any icon. So I'll just select this, press Ctrl G to group it. If you want, you can reduce the size a little bit and add it here. And I'm just rotating it. So this is the first one here. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. Bring it here. Rotate it. Put it here. Then again one on this i'm just rotating it then select this one will go here and lastly one more will go up here and then you can add a detailed text to it go to text box type your text here Reduce the size, center align, control D. I'm just going to add the text now everywhere. Again, last control D and the text. So uh, I have added all the text. Now it's time to do the animation. Before adding the animation, we can add some shadow effect. For that, go to insert shapes, select a right triangle, draw the triangle, shape outline, make it no outline, rotate, flip vertical, and bring it here. You can change the color to a black and transparency effect, give more transparency effect and put it exactly here. You can see here exactly. Just rotate it perfectly. So I'm going to cut this part which is above the pipe for that go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle i'm going to select this shadow or the right triangle then the triangle merge shape just say subtract so you end up getting this shadow effect then press ctrl d add it here add in all other places as well. You can see here. So and and last just rotate it like this and if you want you can just send this to back also yeah so you can see here i have just added the the shadow effect so i'm going to add the animation to this so before that i have to group this select this object this and the shadow press ctrl G to group it then again select this this and the shadow control G so do it one by one don't do it together all right and this text also you can group it okay now let's do the animation i'm going to use only one simple animation which is the wipe go to animation 
enable the animation pane first select this object and say wipe so it goes from bottom and then this should come you can say fly in like this and this should be after previous and then this should come wipe instead of bottom it should come from top and then this should come wipe that is perfect that is after previous and then this should come which is fly in from top now again using this I'm going to do the so this also will be after previous and then I'm going to select this animation painter click on this so this will come first then I'm going to select this animation painter click on this and then I'll select this animation painter click on this so this one instead of going from bottom it should or top from it should come from bottom so you can see here if i play when i click 2016 and the text will come and then 2017 text will come then 2018 text will come there so likewise again i'll select this animation painter click on this again select this animation painter click on this and then select this likewise you can do it the last one which is this one and then i'm selecting this so the animation is done so let's see here when i click 2016 2017 2018 19 and 20. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.